Hello, I'm David and you're watching Crew Show UK. We're on board the magnificent Sky Princess. In this video, I'm going to give you my ultimate top tips for making the most of your cruise with Princess. Tip number one, you've made it on board the ship and if you're like me, you're going to be hungry. So my best advice to you, don't go to the buffet. There's nothing wrong with the buffet, but on day one, it's just too busy for me. My first port of call for food is always Alfredo's Pizzeria. They serve wonderful pizzas here. It's all made to order for you. Um, it's a lot more relaxed than the buffet. It's a table service. Um, it's a great way to start your holiday here. If you don't want pizza, they have salads here and soups, and they do a cracking tiramisu. Tip number two, and this one is all about making the most of the formal night on board. Princess Cruises allows you to bring on one bottle of alcohol per person, and it's a great way for you to enjoy your favorite drink without paying the princess price. I've chosen a bottle of France's finest, Moe and Chandon Champagne. Let's pop it open and give it a try. Cheers. Beautiful. Tip number three. You can buy these magnetic metal hooks on uh, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description, but I've uh, started bringing these on cruises with me. I find them really, uh, really useful. And you can put them anywhere in the cabin because most of the cabin walls are metal. And I just find them useful for hanging. Well, I've got binoculars there hanging up and I'll, uh, a coat there and a dressing gown. They're just quite handy. Uh, I've started bringing them on all my cruises. So you might want to do the same. Tip number four, and this one is especially useful if you're going somewhere very scenic and taking lots of photos and videos. You might want to invest in one of these battery packs to charge up your phone as you go along. Uh, there's been a few times where we've nearly run out of uh, battery, but thanks to this, uh, we were able to fully recharge our phones and tablets. If you're on a cruise ship that doesn't have bedside uh, USB or power sockets, uh, you can charge this up during the day and then charge your phone overnight. It's quite useful at night in the cabin as well, especially if you're in an inside cabin. It's got a night light. It's also got wireless charging if you don't have a cable. Tip number five, and this is a really good one. If you are a member of the Captain Circle uh, Club, you have to be at the elite level, but if you are, you should definitely do this. You can have afternoon tea served in your stateroom doesn't matter which stateroom you've got, they will serve it to you in your stateroom. Yes, it's cabin L231. Okay, thank you very much, thank you, bye-bye. So you order by phone and you give them six hours notice and it's free of charge. So our afternoon tea has arrived. And there's quite a lot here actually, I'm quite impressed with it. We've got the uh, cakes and some biscuits there. And then underneath we've got sandwiches and a couple of rolls. And then we've got our scones, which look really nice, and jam and cream, and tea and coffee. So uh, yeah, I'm impressed with it. Very nice, still warm. Mm. Tip number six, and this is a personal recommendation from me, something that I always like to do on a cruise. At the end of uh, the night, I always come to the International Cafe, and get a Bailey's hot chocolate. It's beautiful, it just finishes the evening off. If you don't like Bailey's, they do amaretto hot chocolate. Beautiful. Uh, so that's something that I always like to do on a cruise. So rich and indulgent. Make sure you try it, it's so good. Tip number seven, and it's more an interesting fact really. The lifts, they make different noises depending on the direction of travel. Going up, you'll hear this and going down, you'll hear that. Who knew that? Maybe it's just me that didn't know that. Um, but if you've got any little tips like that uh, you want to share, please write in the comments. Uh, I'd be interested to find out. We are in the Crown Grill Bar, and this is tip number eight. Uh, 
especially if you've got the drinks package. So my tip to you is always try and try something new. And with that in mind, I am going to have the Amaretto Martini. It, uh, well, I'm sure it'll be delicious, but I will let you know. There it is. Thank you. This is the Amaretto Manhattan. It's not what I expected at all. Tastes just like bourbon, whiskey. Um, and it's very strong. Blimey. Very strong, and I don't taste any Amaretto at all. Um, but it's something that I wouldn't normally order. Uh, I'll drink it, but it's very, very strong. Tip number nine, and if you're coming on Princess Cruises, I highly recommend you're booking a speciality restaurant. On this ship, there's three on board, but I highly recommend you come to the Crown Grill. It is worth treating yourself, and it is a treat. It's $29, uh, treat yourself. It's a really, really good experience. Even though the food on Princess is very, very good, a speciality restaurant, especially the Crown Grill, just elevates it to another level. Tip number 10, and this is for those of you that suffer with seasickness, uh, you might want to give these bands a try. I don't suffer with seasickness myself, but I have it on good authority uh, from cameraman Graham that these work really well, and he was very skeptical at first. Uh, it's a really inexpensive way of dealing with seasickness and travel sickness as well, I guess. Um, and they, you know, you just pop them on your your wrists, and I think it works on some sort of pressure point on your wrists to counteract the uh, motion of the ocean. It's really good if you don't like taking uh, tablets, if you don't want the, because some of those uh, seasickness tablets they can make you a bit sluggish. So if you don't want that, they're worth a try. Tip number 11, and if you're out and about around the ship, it's very easy to hear the announcements from the bridge. However, when you're in your cabin, most of the announcements won't come through. You won't be able to hear the announcements from the bridge. If you want to hear the announcements from the bridge, just tune your TV to the bridge cam channel, um, and the announcements will then come through on the television. So you'll get your, the captain's daily announcement, plus any if they spot any whales or any any marine life, they'll uh, announce it over that channel. It's quite good. Tip number 12, and this is just a bit of peace of mind. Uh, I like to bring a supply of COVID tests with me when I come on the cruise. And that's so that I can just, if I'm not feeling 100%, I can take a test and know at that point in time, I'm still okay to be wandering around the cruise ship, going on the ports of call, um, I'm just okay at that point of time and there's been a few times where I haven't felt 100% I've done the test and it's come back negative thank goodness and I was okay to carry on so I think it's a good idea especially in uh, for the time being anyway if you're new to my channel please subscribe it really helps me out uh, please leave me a comment uh, I read and reply to every single one I really like doing that and I've put together a playlist of Princess Cruises, so you should watch that one next. And until next time, I'll see you up on deck.